Welcome. I hope you're ready to um, learn a quick and easy lesson on exponents. Exponents are written as small numbers at the upper right hand of a base number. So here we have the exponent is 3. The base number here is 2. The exponent tells how many times to multiply the base number by itself. So our exponent here is 3, which says take that base number of 2 and multiply by itself 3 times. So this would be 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 to the third power equals 8. What you have to keep in mind, though, is that um, it does not mean 2 times 3. It's a mistake that a lot of students make when um, they're just learning this. So 2 to the third power does not equal 2 times 3. It does not equal 2 times 3. It is 2 times 2 times 2. Here we have another example of a base number 8 and its exponent 3 which means 8 times 8 times 8 it does not mean 8 times 3 okay 8 times 8 times 8 so we take the first 8 times 8 64 and then we are going to multiply that I have to turn on my calculator 8 and 64 times 8 is 512. So 8 to the third power is equal to 512. That is the value of 8 to the third power. Pretty easy peasy, huh? Let's look at one more. All right, here we have 3. Our base is 3. Our exponent here is 5. And we say this is 3 to the fifth power. So we want to find the value. You may even see something that says to, well, that's a horrible E. It might say evaluate. It's just another way of find the answer. Evaluate 3 to the 5th power. So the way you would show your work would be, okay, 3 to the 5th power is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Alright, and 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. And 81 times 3 is 243. Wow. So, 3 to the fifth power. That doesn't look like a fifth power. 3 to the 5th power equals 243. Notice how I'm doing my problems. I'm working down. I'm going to talk about that later, but that's important for algebra. Okay. Now, I showed a lot of work here. Um, it is okay for you to just go 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and then plug that into your calculator and get the answer. All right, let's do a few uh, practice problems, and then you're done. Before you uh, take off on doing a couple problems by yourself, I do want you to take these two notes. Any number with an exponent of 1 stays the same number. So here we've got the example of 6 to the first power. That's how we say that. 6 to the first power is 6. 12 to the first power is 12. 
142 to the first power is 142. It doesn't matter. Anything to the first power stays that number. Now this next one, it's kind of tricky, but just know that it's true. <laughs> Any number with an exponent of 0 is 1. So this is 3 to the 0 power. Well, 3 to the 0 power is 1. 14 to the 0 power is 1. 3,728 to the 0 power is 1. Don't ask why. You'll learn about it later. Just know when you see any number, any base with a 0 exponent, it's 1. All right, pause and make sure you get those two very important notes down. Okay, here are some practice problems. I'm going to show you what I'm expecting for showing work. So you write down the problem, 4 to the second power, write out what it means, 4 times 4, and then you can plug it into your calculator, write your answer, and then circle it. So number 2, 3 to the fourth power equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Plug that into your calculator, put your answer, and circle it. Alright, so do these five problems and when you're done with all of them then uh, start it up again and the answers will be there for you okay so pause answer and then unpause and check your work so here are the answers if you have any questions um, write them down so that you'll remember and we will uh, go over this briefly and do some practice work see you tomorrow bye